Hi, this is Cynthia Dona, your modern day goddess for CelebrateGreece.com and I'm here in Beverly Hills for the amazing Greek Film Festival. We're delighted you're hosting this. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah. I mean, they asked me and I said, I don't, that's it. Just where it have to be when. Thank you for oh my celebrating gosh. Greece with us. Yeah. Next, I'd like to introduce the fifth Greek man to ever win an Oscar. <laughs> you know it, you love it. The film is sideways, and its director, its amazing director, is Alexander Payne. Uh, I am here to give a Lifetime Achievement Award to uh, Olivia Dukakis, and we love her not because she's a Greek actress, we love her because she's a magnificent actress, and then we're proud of her because she's Greek. I had to leave the Greek community to do what I wanted to do. There was no support. Um, and one of the things that I've tried to do whenever people have asked me to speak in, in, within a Greek community is to encourage Greeks to support the, the, the children who uh, want to uh, not only be in theater, but want to be writers, want to be dancers in, in the arts. Because, you know, when the Greeks, of course, came over here, it, there was a great concern for security. And business was important, and the professions were important. And um, I, uh, I was very fortunate that my parents were very supportive uh, for me to do whatever I wanted to do. And initially what I wanted to do was just sports. Because uh, with sports I was able to immediately prove that I was as good as, if not better than, the... Uh, the Americans, and of course everybody was an American who wasn't a Greek. <laughs> that was the thing. Line was it you were, uh, and then that very strong competitive feeling lasted. And so um, when I recognized that in the Greek community, I mean, of course this wasn't an intellectual thing, but that the ethnic bias and the, sec the sexual bias that existed in the Greek community at the time. Um, what seemed so strong and so confining to me and that um, my rebellious spirit immediately, um, you know, came into play. So for me to stand here tonight and um, to be acknowledged by something called the uh, Greek Film Festival, um, with uh, sponsors who, people who are really wanting to support Greeks, Greek Americans in theater, and to be acknowledged, or to have my work acknowledged, is a, is a kind of a irony that is painful, and at the same time, so satisfying that somehow, um, not only that I came through, but that we as, you know, Greek Americans will cherish the, not only the arts, but the arts in our children. That that is really means a great deal to me. So I want to thank uh, the film festival, the organizers, and the sponsors for making this film. Congratulations on being honored. Thank and you. I was wondering why, like Greeks as a whole in the arts, why you feel they're very successful? I mean, I guess the successful, why anyone's successful? They have talent, they yeah. have passion, they have drive, they have commitment, they have discipline, all the things that make Especially it happen. We're here to support the festival, and Yanni Bagakis is a family friend, and we're happy that he's getting an award tonight. I think it's about time. You know, I yeah. met Yanni way back in the 50s, believe it or not, and he's when I received a Golden Globe. And I've known him. Catherine was Miss Golden Globe a few years ago. Really? For the Golden Globes. And my husband, Stanley Kramer, started the Golden Globes. Oh, originally. bless you. So, so oh, we've been a Hollywood time oh. friends. Oh. And I've sung at Yanni's Greek parties that he has once a year. I've been the performer three times and have attended that. So, <laughs> no, it's definitely great that he's getting an award.
I'm presenting the award to Mr. Oh, McCarthy. how wonderful. He's, he certainly deserves it. Congratulations. Thank you, we home. met before, but I, I just want to... Wow, what Thank a career you. from a young yeah. boy in Constantinople yeah, to today, yes. to the Hollywood yes. Foreign Press. It's wonderful to be honored unexpectedly. Yeah. I never thought, even though I go to so many festivals, but I never thought I'd be honored. Oh, you deserve to be honored. Is Greek? I am a Greek Italian. You're a Greek Italian. Yes. And, and I am very passionate about Greek art and film. Greek, and Greek is a wonderful language. Absolutely. Not I'm studying it now at the Greek church. You're, every so. Greek in America should speak Greek. I absolutely agree. It's really a great honor to present uh, this award tonight. And it's also kind of a luxury for me because I'm usually out there, you know, hoping one of our filmmakers will win. And, and you know, everything sort of goes blank and you just... You know, at the Golden Gloves, he asked me, said, just say, walk the line. Just say, sideways. Just say it. Okay, so the nominees for Best Dramatic Feature are Akamas, Brides, The Guardian's Son, The Heart of the Beast, Opa, Opa, Opa <laughs> Pink, Sweet Memory, and Tom White. Another, probably Greek with an American name. <laughs> Okay, and the winner is Akamas. So we have to turn to uh, uh, Panikos Kisanto. Uh, uh, Mr. Kisanto can't be here tonight, so uh, we'll make sure he gets this. Thank you very much. The audience award. You may know her as Detective Stella Bonacera on CSI New York, but I know her as Tokorizia Kubobamto for Yo. Melina Kanagani. I have the easiest job tonight because um, I get to pick, well, I get to read who you picked, uh, the audience members have picked as the a recipient of their favorite award, but I kind of like to think at this point. Uh, every single film in this festival is a winner. We are all together in this, and it's fabulous that we had a Greek film festival in Los Angeles, and I hope that we can continue this tradition. So let's find out who our winner is. A Song for Adhipis. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I want to express um, many thanks on behalf of... Uh, the um, director, Stefan Haupt, and on behalf of Agilis Mdouris, whose story is taught in this film. Uh, I'm so proud to be here, and uh, thank you so much. Um, my name is Maria Sergiu. I am the uh, assistant director of the film A Song for Argiris, uh, who won the uh, audience award tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm very honored, um, and on behalf of the director and the main character of the film, a big, big thank you. And it's an honor to be here at the first film festival um, of Los Angeles, Greek film festival. Um, well, I'm just thrilled. I know. It's Congratulations. Can you tell us, um, summarize what the movie is about? It's the story of Argiris Funduris, um, who's, um, who uh, survived the massacre in 1944 in this village, um, in this Tomo. Uh, it was during the Second World War and the Germans broke into the village and killed all the children and um, women and Argiri survived and this is a story about a man who, um, who made something out of this and did not give up and uh, um, about the grief and the sadness, but also about uh, happiness in life and what ca one can do out of this. Last award of the evening, our jury felt compelled to present a special jury award to the film that deserved recognition outside of the other categories. So here to present it is the executive producer of Mission Impossible 3 and the upcoming Star Trek movie, Straton Miracles. We've all seen some amazing films. We, the jury was so impressed with every film, we wish we had awards for all of them. But that had been three suitcases, <laughs> chock full of awards. The originality, the, uh, the concept, the execution of these pictures was magnificent. One film kept coming back to us, 
So the jury decided to offer a special jury award. And the winner of that is The Guardian's Son. Well, I want to, to thank the uh, Los Angeles International Greek Festival for giving us the opportunity to, for giving the Greek films the opportunity to be shown here in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, I want to say that I'm very touched that uh, among uh, you, there are some people that I, respect, I admire as a cinematographer. Uh, we care about you, uh, I mean, uh, the, the cinematographers in Greece. Uh, we, love, we are very proud of the films that make Greek American in Hollywood. And, and uh, we are waiting for you to come to Greece <laughs> and to shoot the, uh, films in Greece. Θέλω να αφιερώσω αυτό το βραβείο στα παιδιά του φεστιβάλ ε, με την ευχή μου να το φεστιβάλ αυτό να διαρκέσει πολλά χρόνια και να συνεχίσει έτσι να μας να κάνει να ανταμώνουμε. Was it a, one, a surprise, the yes. original award? It was a big surprise because it was the last one. Yeah. Oh, they gave all the awards and I, and I think I thought that everything is gone, so, and then they, they told that the Guardian Sun, so it was a surprise. Tell the audience what yeah. the film's about. This film is about, it's a social drama about mm -hmm. uh, the other side of uh, contemporary Greece. There is a, it is a Greek film, so it means uh, there is drama, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, uh, because it is Greek, there is humor. <laughs> That's always wonderful, yeah. the good Greek comedy, so, <laughs> with drama and comedy. Yeah. Well, congratulations, and Thank now you do you go back to Greece, or are you yes, here in the... Yes, I will go to Greece, uh, to my family, to my wife, and my Aww. children. It's closing night for the Greek Film Festival here in Beverly Hills, California. We have seen so many fabulous films. Tonight, Olympia Dukakis received the Lifetime Achievement Award. She was given an Orpheus Award, which is just a gorgeous golden statue that was handcrafted in Greece. We have all these talented Greek filmmakers. Many from have come over from Greece with their films or American Greeks who live here. Actors, performers, writers, producers, directors. And truly, it shows that the Greeks, who are some of the best storytellers to begin with, have signed off and signed on for Greek films around the world. This is Cynthia Dodona for CelebrateGreece.com. Good night, or as they say in Greek, Kalimita.